welcome back to my channel. It's March and we're off our Nova. <laughs> so I'm back. Um, I have a couple of things to show you and I want to talk about a website that I don't hear much about on um, YouTube or really anywhere and I love it. It's a designer resale site and it's excellent. So I want to talk about it. It's Vestiaire Collective here, Vestiaire. So I got a couple things from Vestiaire. <laughs> Yes, I did. And I want to talk to you about them and also talk about the benefits of Vestiaire and why I love it. So if you're interested in learning more about Vestiaire and what I got, stick around. So I'll start off by introducing myself. My name is Sibine. I run a blog called Sibine Cheek Shopaholic where I focus on fashion, mom life, just everything. I mean, we're so many things, right? So fashion, mom life, beauty, lifestyle is what I remember to at the moment to me. Um, and so, yeah, I talk a lot about that. I blog on Instagram. Here is my Instagram information. And I post daily on Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram. I post memes, just talk about whatever I'm feeling at the moment. So go follow me on Instagram if you're not following me there. If you're not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Subscribe to my channel. I would love to, um, for you to be one of my subscribers. I make videos every week. I post usually on a Friday or Saturday. So I'd love for you to um, subscribe to my channel. So anyway, um, I will link all my socials below my Poshmark, my like to know it. I can't link these items in the video. I'm like to know it because they're resale items. So there's one of one, but I will link similar items that are on the Vestiaire site that you guys can go check out. And yeah, so Vestiaire. Vestiaire Collective is a resale site. Um, and here's the name here and it's a luxury site they do sell different tiers of luxury items they sell more affordable luxury items like your Rebecca Minkoff your coach Kate Spade um things like that and they sell like your larger more high fashion luxury brands Fendi Gucci Prada Valentino um huh, YSL all of those Balenciaga what I like about Vestiaire and what distinguishes Vestiaire to me from other resale sites of luxury items like your Real Real, your Tradesy, Vestiaire, you can make an offer just like eBay. So somebody posts an item, let's say they post a bag and I put a picture of a bag here that's on sale. They'll have the bags priced at whatever they're pricing it for. You as the buyer can make an offer on the item. That's the first plus. I'm going to give you three pluses why I choose Vestiaire over other retailers. One, you can make an offer. If the seller accepts your offer, um, that's it. Done and done. You make your offer. The seller accepts it. You purchase the item. If the seller does not accept your offer, you can barter with the seller. So if you bid $440 and the seller comes back and says, mm, no, I can't let it go for less than $490, you guys can go back and forth and hopefully come to a happy medium. So that's the first thing that I like. I like to get a deal. <laughs> so if I can barter or like eBay my way, I'm going to do that. So that's the first thing. The second thing is Vestiaire has a large collection of things that might not be on other websites because Vestiaire has a lot of international sellers. So a lot of times they'll have luxury items that we don't get in the U.S. and that aren't on other sites. Um, like sellers are from France, Germany, China, all over. Um, and they'll even have some sellers that don't deliver to the U.S. So they'll let you know that as soon as you click on the item. But yes, it's like a plethora, kind of like Farfetch. I know a lot of people on um, social media talk about Farfetch. Farfetch is a luxury website that sells luxury items, but they have all these different boutiques that sell on their website. So you can get an item from France, Germany, and all over. That's kind of how Vestiaire is, but they do it with resale. So you can get an item from anywhere across the world. So you have a bigger selection of items to choose from. I like that. Also, um, so you bid on the items, um, you can have a bigger selection and the last thing I like about Vestiaire is they give several different ways to pay that aren't offered on other sites. Maybe you don't want to pay with your card. You want to use PayPal. You want to use, there's a lot of options. You want to use a firm. You want to use Afterpay, Carlon, or whatever. Some sites don't offer those options. So Vestiaire does. And they've always, some sites do now. They didn't in the beginning. Vestiaire has always offered different ways to pay. 
So those are three popping in this video to say something that I forgot to insert in the video that I recorded about Vestiaire. I filmed my videos in advance, so I was watching it to edit it and I forgot I didn't mention one of the biggest facts. Also, everything is authenticated with Vestiaire. That's another fact. So I think this would be number three, three and two. So there's four things that I like about Vestiaire. So one of the, the 2A or 2B parts, number two is, Every item is authenticated. So when you purchase something through Vestiaire, the seller sends the item to Vestiaire. Okay, so it goes straight there. The item is authenticated. You'll be able to see, and I'll show you here, all the processes on the website when the item dispatches from the seller's um, shipping to Vestiaire headquarters. The item then at Vestiaire is authenticated by professionals. When that's done, then Vestiaire sends the item to you. So the tag that it was checked by an, an employee, I don't know why it went straight over my head to mention that, is checked by an employee because unlike eBay and other sites that don't authenticate and people just sell on them, Vestiaire authenticates every item. So the item goes from the seller to Vestiaire. Just like when I was selling, on, I saw something on Fashion File, I sent the item to Fashion File to sell it and then they authenticated it first and then the, I got my money from Fashion File. So the item is checked at Vestiaire before it comes to you. Then once they check it, authenticate it, that is that it's authentic. I've never had any, I had to have them come back and tell me that an item was, wasn't authentic. But after the seller sends the item to them, the item is authenticated and then the item comes to you. So you don't have to worry about the authenticity of anything that you purchase on Vestiaire like you would do with eBay. But now eBay has authentication guarantee. So you don't really have to worry about it with eBay anymore. And a lot of sites are doing that due to all the counterfeiting that's going on and replicas. So yes, so you can be assured when you purchase something at Vestiaire, it will be authenticated before it comes to you. You don't even have to worry about it. Okay, bye. I shouldn't have said bye. I should say carry on with the video because the video is not over. Please watch the video to the end. Okay, so continue. I like Vestiaire. I do go to other sites to look for something if I can't find it on Vestiaire, but I go to Vestiaire first. It's just, I've bought several things from there um, in the past and yeah, I like it. Um, so I got two things from there. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are the shoes. I have not opened the box. Um, it just came today, actually. That's why I'm filming this video. So I wanted a pair of dad sandals, like Chanel dad sandals. But who's going to pay $1,100 for sandals? So I was like, I have to find another pair. I don't have to find, but I was on the lookout for another pair of sandals that were kind of like um, Chanel dad sandals. And I saw these on the website and I fell in love with these. And these are all leather and they're super, super cute. I got them in a 39 and a half, which is kind of like a nine um, or eight and a half, depending on what site you're looking at. Um, and these are them. So they're Balenciaga, um, leather sandals. They kind of look like a dad sandal. They don't have all the embellishments of Chanel. You can't really tell they're Balenciaga. You wouldn't know if you didn't, um, if I didn't tell you, but in the inside of the shoe, it has been Balenciaga written inside. And I got these. Everything I order on Vestiaire, I always barter. Because <laughs> like I said, that's the benefit of the site. That's why I like the site. And I'm surprised a lot of people like that like luxury. I learned about Vestiaire, I think, from Lydia Millen years ago. She's a YouTuber. But since then, I, I mean, I haven't really seen a lot of luxury YouTubers talk about Vestiaire. And I really, really like it. So, but anyway. So, I think... They listed these um, for like 200, I wanna say, and I talked the seller down to under 100. So yeah, these are those. They're really, really cute. And I have not tried them on, because you guys saw I just took them out of the bag. They came in their dust bag. I guess I should go over that. They sent the Balenciaga, the Balenciaga dust bag. They just came in a regular box. Um, inside of a vestiaire box. I do like their shipping because it's very incognito. Like you would never know um, it was a luxury um, shoe or a luxury box. If I didn't tell you, like there was nothing on the outside of the box that just said, this is luxury, which is great. Like the way the post office is right now. Yeah, they fit perfectly. 
um, like the way the post office is right now. I know here in Georgia, they'll like go through your stuff and steal things. So I like the fact that you would know that it was from a designer site. It was very like incognito. So I like that. So yeah, here are the shoes. They were never worn. I mean, they're like practically brand new. I think they tried them on. They did come with a tag and this tag is from the Vex Sierra team. And it just says, thank you for creating the future of fashion with us. And it just gives you like a little SR code to scan. And on the back, it says, please only remove this label if you're satisfied with the quality. So if you take this label off, you cannot send these back. I have gotten something from there because the seller lists the, the status of the item. So somebody's calling me. So the item could be like excellent condition, good condition, just like Fashion File and other websites. And I have used Fashion File, nothing wrong with Fashion File. Fashion File has its benefits as well. I just like Vestia Collective just for the barter aspect. I don't know. I am the kind of shopper that I like to know that I got it for a deal, like that I controlled, control issues, I guess. I don't know. But so yeah, once you take this off, you cannot return it. It even gives you the tag of the person that inspected it. Um, it said inspected by Lolita and it was inspected March 2nd, 2022. And there are Balenciaga sandals. See that? And so, yeah, so if you take this off, you can't return the shoes. And so I'm not gonna return them because I love them and this is what I wanted. So my dad's sandal itch is scratched. Um, yeah, because these give me what I need. I don't have to have like a Chanel pair or um, I was looking at the Gucci pair, but I think, yeah, this is it. So that's that. Some of the things come with a box and dust bag, some don't. The next item that I got actually came with the bag that was purchased in and the box, not the box, and the dust bag. So most of the things that I've gotten from there, they'll have come with the dust bag now that I say it. So see, there's the dust bag. And so that's those. And I got one more thing. And so the next thing I got, as I told y'all in a previous video, fanny packs have become my jam. I've always liked the fanny pack, but now with COVID and um, I have on the super, super casualist outfit ever. I'll put a picture here, but my shirt is from Target. It's like one of those long sleeve tissue tees that um, free people, but it's um, Wild Fable version. It's ribbed, um, it's from Target. And I think it was like $10 or something like that. They had all different colors. I got two of these. I got black and then the tan. And then I have some tie-dye tights on from oh, Victoria's Secret. And both items will be linked below. So, yeah, I'm super casual all the time. So, I thought I need another fanny pack. Like, I have a Gucci one. I have a Chanel one. And I have several other different ones. Um, but... I wanted something else, like a little more edgier. Um, the Gucci one, of course, is brown, so that's done. Um, the Chanel one, of course, is black, but it's little, even though it's it's a little more fancy. So I wanted something more edgier and cool and like. So I got a Valentino item, and it came. So this box, this bag was folded inside the bag it came in, and so they sent me the bag. The item was purchased in. And this is actually the first time I've received the bag. I've usually received a dust bag and box, but I never usually get the bag. But they sent the bag. And what else came in here? That's it. And so the item came in its original, or, can I talk? Original dust bag. It's here. And inside is a Valentino fanny pack. So I love the Valentino Rockstar bags. Um, I so this scratch is two inches, right? So I love the Valentino Rockstar bags, but I don't know if I love them enough to buy one. I'm gonna show you one on here that I saw on eBay that is not a Rockstar, but it's a leather bag, um, like my Chanel. Well, like my Chanel dupe jumbo leather bag that I got from eBay it's here so I think I'm still gonna get that eventually but this scratches 
it's like $90 or I'm talking about the bag from eBay. I'm all over the place. So the bag from eBay is like eBay has or has several different bags that are like designer dupes, but they don't have any replica anything on them. Um, so it's just a studded bag and it's in leather. They have Chanel, they have double flap ones. They have all different kinds. I have one um, that's like a Chanel makeup case in red. I have one that's like a Chanel double flap. It's just a plain leather bag. It's not a replica. A replica is when you replicate the, like you're trying to replicate the item with like Chanel on the inside and all that. It's not like that. It's a dupe. A dupe is an item that kind of leans towards the, the item, but not copying it. Copying is me having a bag that I paid $90 for that has Chanel on the inside. No, this is just a plain leather bag that looks like a Chanel double flap. That makes sense. So they have plain leather studded bags that look like Valentino Rockstar bags. So I still might get one of those. But I wanted a Rockstar bag, but I didn't want to commit because I don't know if it was going to work in my wardrobe. If I got one, it was going to be the black one with the VLTN on the front or like a red one with the VLTN on the front. I just love that logo with the studs. So instead, I figured I could get this. This is a fanny pack, which for me is super functional. And it's also a... um got my Valentino logo on the front. So it's just a black leather fanny pack and it zips up in here. I mean, you guys know how fanny pack goes and it comes with authenticity card and all the items that came with the bag, like some more authenticity information. So all that was in the inside, it even was another authenticity card it even was like stuffed and then that's the inside of the bag the zipper it has a red pocket in the inside the zipper pocket is everything i want a fanny pack to be just simple easy and so it has two zippers that meet um either in the front or you can let them zip on the side like this it comes with two tags one the valentino's tag because this bag was brand new never used it's a brand new okay and i got it from for so much under retail so this is the original valentino tag and this is the vestiaire collective tag with this qr code the person that checked this bag to make sure it was brand new and the match matched the status on the website the person's name was Manon, and it was checked on March 2nd, 2022, and it just has the type of bag at the bottom. This bag, you can still purchase now. I think it retails for way more than I paid for it. I did barter with the seller, and I got it for a cheaper price. The back has a zipper pocket as well, functioning zipper. The bag is all leather. I'm going to wear the bag like this for the most part, just like I wear my other fanny packs, just like thrown over my shoulder. As you can see, like this, it's super cute. It's very edgy, summertime, it's fun. I love it. And yeah, so that's all that I got from Bestier, but I did want to come on and make a video about Bestier because not a lot of people talk about it and I don't know why. It's a great website, I've never had an issue. Like I said, I got an item that was not like the seller just subscri um, subscribed. Described and I returned it, got my money back immediately, no issue. So yeah check out this year a lot of people talk about fashion file I love fashion file it's not anything against fashion file i bought things from fashion file as well as sold but vestiaire i just like to be able to go back and forth with people i don't know I'm a little combative but yeah this is the valentino and this is the balenciaga item got from vestiaire and that's it guys that's all i want to talk about so three benefits to Vestier. One last time, you can go back and forth with the seller. You can try to set the price that you want. They have many different forms of payment and also the range of items are sold all over the world. Some items that I've seen on Vestier, I haven't seen in the US. So you have a bigger selection of things from all different countries and all different types of people. And yeah, that's really it. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you enjoyed this video and learning about Vestier Collective. Um, leave a comment below if you like the items or if you've been on Vestier. Let me know what you think. If you haven't, I'd be glad to give you my little tips and tricks to how I want things. I have like a 
win things. I'm stuck with eBay. How I search for things, I have different things that I search for and I just go back every week, just like eBay, to see if the items are there. I go back and forth. If the seller doesn't give me the price that I want, I move on and I come back. And so yeah, so that's what I do and I'll talk to y'all later.